Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Part of Itself by Toyer. So we have normal 6x6 Sudoku rules, meaning in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box, we are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have squares and circles in the grid. Squares are even digits, and circles are odd digits. So in the squares, we have to put 2, 4, or 6. In the circles, we put 1, 3, or 5. We also have these purple lines in the grid. Purple lines are Renban lines, so digits on the line form a set of non-repeating consecutive digits, but in any order. Let's use this as an example. So we just need to take the digits on here, and they need to, in any order, need to be consecutive uh, with each other. So I could do, for example, uh, 2, 3, 4 in this order. So 2, 3, and 4 do form a consecutive set of digits. Um, I could also do uh, 3, 4, 5, or I could do 1, 3, 2. What I can't do is like 1, 2, 4, because that's not a consecutive set of digits. You also can't repeat digits, so I can't do like a 1 and a 1. That wouldn't be a consecutive set anyway, but just to be, just to be clear, you cannot repeat digits on the line. And that's it. Those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. I'm wondering if even odd coloring will be helpful here. Let's just get started on that just because it's a nice excuse to color. So I like to use blue for even and orange for odd. It's just what I'm used to doing. Um, so because these are consecutive, we're going to have one even and one odd on here. Um, no, we could have two odds. Sorry, I misspoke. I was thinking that this was the extreme, but it doesn't have to be. We do know that this row has... So every row, column, and box has exactly three evens and three odds, because 1, 3, 5 are odd, and 2, 4, 6 are even. It has one of each digit. This column is all odd as well. Uh, this row needs the three odds. Uh, this column needs evens. OK, so now we know that there's two evens on the Ren band, so there has to be an odd to bridge the gap between those two evens. OK, so that's even as well. Um, one thing that we know is this cell here, because it can't repeat on the Ren band, and it also can't repeat in the row, it's the same as this cell. These two cells are the same digit, right? Whatever digit I put here, let's say I put a 2 here, just to be clear. If I put a 2 here, I know it's not 2, but if I put a 2 here, we can't repeat 2 on the line, and this can't be 2 because it's in the same row and box, and so we end up with a 2 here. So whatever goes here also goes here. So this has to be odd, and that makes this even. And so now we have we have three evens here, so this has to be odd. I wonder if I could have just made that odd through that. But anyways, I think it's an interesting observation regardless. Uh, that's even. Uh, we have an even here as well. Um, these are both odd. These are both even. Just this was the, for the rows. And then we can just finish these columns. So we need another even here, and we need an, an odd here. Very nice. We have, we're completely even odd colored. Now, I think that's going to give away something about this line, because um, if you think about it, this is a five-digit Ren band line. So the only options are one through five or two through six, meaning only the one or the six is missing. Now, if you think about it, one is odd, six is even. So are we missing an even or are we missing an odd? Well, we're missing an odd. We have two odds and three evens. So the odd that we're missing must be the one. And where does our missing one go? Um, well, it has to go right here, because in this column, the only digit that's not the same as a digit on this line is this digit right here, because remember, these two are the same. So this digit is the 1. Another way to put that is this ends up being 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and this sees all of the digits on this line, so it, can't, it, it cannot be anything but a 1. That's really neat. Um, this has to be between two even digits, so it can't be a 1, and it can't be a it could be a 5, so it's 3 or 5. Um, it's, but be, this can't be a 1 because we can't surround it with two even digits. Uh, and 1, 2, 3 would be two odds, right? And so 1 in this box ends up here, and 1 in this box ends up here, which makes a 1 there, which puts a 1 in one of these two. Uh, 1 in this box actually is here, though, and that puts a 1 there. We're done with 1s. Amazing. We're going to have to get all of the evens and odds, though. This is also 3-5, but I guess all the remaining odds are 3-5, so I'm not sure that's worth marking right now. We need to figure out an exact digit. How are we going to do that? Okay, well, I guess it's this one here. This is a 2. Okay, so this has to be 2 because it's consecutive with the 1. Um, so can we place all the 2s? We can place the 2 here. So there's a 2 in one of these two. Um... Two over here, two in one of these two, 
two and one of these two. I don't think we can finish the twos. Two and one of these two. Okay. Now only one of these can be a two, but we kind of that's kind of obvious. Um Oh, placing the two here makes this have to be a three, because five is not between the two. So that's three, and then that's four. Ah, that's a really cool way of disambiguating that. I don't know how I didn't notice that right away. Um, and so now that's a six. Now we should be able to finish all the evens, I hope. Um, so let's see. Can we? Well, this is a four six pair. This is also four six. This is four six. Okay, if this is four or six, does that help us? Oh, this is five for the column. So that makes that a three. That makes that a five and a three. That's five. Nice. Five is, it has to be in between the four and the six. So this, oopsie. <laughs> what happened? I Oh, what happened is I pressed nine instead of the uh, center mark mode. Anyway, so this is a four, six pair to surround the five. So that can't be two. So that's going to finish our twos. Very nice. And I can just clear out these. And then we're left with four, six pairs, uh, but this is the four, six, four, six, four, six, six, four, six, four. We also get our five here, our three here, our five here, our three here, five here, three here, and we're done. That was a neat puzzle, Toyer. I liked the the even odd coloring, the way that worked out. I liked this geometry, which I think was needed. I don't know if it was needed, but it was definitely helpful to notice the geometry here, um, to see that, that one had to be missing from this line. That was neat because uh, of counting evens and odds. Um, and then just this line and this line doing the majority of the disambiguation was fun. And then I guess this line joined it at the end. Uh, neat way to disambiguate the digits. Um, so cool. I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. If you did, then why don't leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below. Mm -hmm.